Uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. This is Nehemiah and I'm very very much honored to have you on board. So uh, today we are going to talk about the Python inheritance but before we start I want to make uh, this request. If it's your first time to get into this channel please uh, take a second subscribe like and share this video to your friends and to the returning subscribers you can as well like this video but I really appreciate you very very much for you know uh, for your support now uh, we are going to talk about the Python inheritance but then again uh, there's something that I want to tell you uh, in this channel there's also a join button just beside the uh, subscribe button you have the join button so guys you can join this uh, uh, channel membership so that you may have access to premium packages like uh, you know the uh, source codes for website including the back end and uh, the front end source codes also you have access to the you know pre-activated uh, softwares like uh, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, you know, ESAS or whichever, you know, uh, uh, software you want, you'll get it for free here. Um, I just want you, uh, once you join this channel membership through the uh, join button below. Now, uh, back to the main topic, I said that uh, we are going to talk about the Python inheritance. So then uh, let's understand this uh, Python inheritance. So basically the inheritance allow us to uh, define a class that inherits all the methods and the properties uh, you know, from another class. And uh, basically the parent uh, class is the class that is being inherited from. And then uh, it's also called, uh, you know, it's also called the base class. And then I guess we also have the, uh, the child class which is the uh, class that inherits, you know, uh, from another uh, another class, and uh, it's also called the derived class. Now, uh, guys, I want us to discuss how to create this, uh, you know, uh, to create a parent, uh, you know, class. So basically, guys, uh, any class can be, you know, can be a parent class. So basically, the syntax is the name, uh, you know, as, you know, creating another class. And um, perhaps I want us to have an example here, like I want us to create a, you know, a class name, for example, person with the first name and uh, the last name properties. Then again, I'm going to create what this uh, class. Uh, first of all, I'm going to create what I'm going to create this uh, class. So basically, we define a class using this uh, class, uh, the class uh, what the class keyword. Then uh, in this class name, I'm going to give it what I said a person, right? So let me let me just say what let me just say uh person 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 basically this then uh these are the name of this uh, class and the person and then again i want us to create what i want us to uh, create a function here the ni init function but uh guys i'm going to use that to define this function using the deep you remember the what we discussed in that video that we define a function using the uh def keyword def keyword then I guess I'm going to use the INIT function, INIT function. Uh, but then I told you that uh, this self is just by default, but uh, it doesn't necessarily to be uh, self. But then uh, it must begin in this, uh, you know, uh, and this, uh, and it must be, you know, at the start. So basically, this parameter is very, very uh, fundamental because it must be, you know, at the start. And then uh, now um, I said that, that I'm going to create the uh, this uh, person name. So uh, first of all, let me say uh, F name for first name. You can give it any name. Uh, F name for first name, and then I'm gonna give it the last name, which is L name. Just the short form, the shortcut, or uh, the short uh, yeah form of this um you know this stuff. Then I guess I want to do this. I want to I create now this uh, self. Now let me say self dot. Uh, perhaps let me say first a first name or f yeah, let me just say first name then i assign it to this um uh, f name f name and then also let me create what again there for last name so self dot uh last last name last name and then assign it to this uh, l name l this uh, l name right now um now i want us to create now the uh, actually, I want to create this uh, other, uh, you know, uh, print name method here. Le let me say div first of all, define this. Uh, let me just define it. And then I uh, do what? Let me say print name. I'm creating this another, uh, another you know, uh, print name method here. So let me say print, perhaps print name. Uh, print name then uh, is, 
uh, self. Basically, uh, guys, uh, let me first of all uh, do this for you to see uh, very, very well. So let me say, uh, leave then a print name. I'm gonna give it what? Uh, self. Is it? Yeah, self. Uh, is it itself, right? Or uh, before that, let me, guys, uh, let me include the indentation here. Let me just include uh, include the indentation here. Then uh, let me say div. Then uh, let me say um, print. Uh, print what? Print a uh, print name. Print name. And then I uh, do what? Let me create the. Uh, these are uh, what? These are. Um, let me add also these are uh, a uh, self parameter here. And then now uh, I want us to do what? I want us to print. Now we use the print function to execute this code in the terminal with the print and then i'm going to say what self and this self parameter you must include also a self parameter here and then i also dot um the first one was first name a uh, first name and then uh, also uh let me create for a uh, last name so it is self a uh, self dot uh, dot uh, last uh, dot last name right and then uh, guys, uh, this is what I'm gonna say here. Now, um, now guys, uh, basically we are going to use the personal class to create the to create an object and then uh, execute the uh, the print name method. So basically, let me say what. Let me say um, let me say what. First of all, we must uh, remove the indentation here. Otherwise, it will bring the the error. Then uh, let me create this. Uh, I know uh, this uh, variable here. Let me assign it to. Let me assign to this person. Basically, the name of the class. So person, person, and then uh, now the properties inside it is perhaps. Let me say uh, perhaps Nehemiah, Nehemiah. The the first name. Then uh, the last name. I'm gonna give it uh, what? Okay. So basically, guys, you remember it's a string. So you must uh, define a string using the quotes, uh, the quotation mark. Then uh, guys, uh, let me now do it. Let me now run this. Let me now include this, uh, you know, print name now to uh, to do it to execute the print uh, method here. Let me see print. Uh, print what? A uh, print name. Uh, sorry. So let me say print name. Then uh, do it. Uh, click on the shift. Uh, basically, guys, uh, guys uh, you run these uh, codes in the terminal using the this uh, icon here. You can see you have the icon here to uh, run these uh, codes. And then, uh, guys, uh, when you click on it, then I can see that here at the terminal, we have, you know, uh, created what we have uh, generated this uh, name. So basically, guys, uh, this uh, in this example, guys, I've uh, just created the name, uh, which was uh, they actually have created a class, uh, which name was uh, the person, and then uh, the first name and, and uh, the last name properties, and then uh, also, uh, guys, uh, we included the uh, print name method. So uh, guys, uh, basically this is how you can do it. This is how you can create the uh, the parent class. Uh, and uh, guys, I see that uh, uh, any class can be you know a parent class. So the syntax of the uh, you know uh, is the same as you know uh, creating any other uh, any other uh, class. Uh, so guys, uh, basically let me, let's discuss how to to do it. Let's discuss how to uh, create uh, the uh, to create a child class. And then uh, but uh, basically guys, I, I assume that you. have understood these are uh, you know creating these are uh, parent uh, class but then um, let's talk about these are uh, you know how to create a child class so now uh, to create a I know a class that I inherit the uh, functionality from another class then I guess uh, we send the parent class as the as a parameter when creating the uh, the child class uh, so basically guys I want us to create a class you know named student perhaps and then uh, which will inherit the properties and the methods from the this uh, person what and this person class and then our uh, guys are uh, do it and then uh, we are going to do it we are going to uh and uh, basically guys i'm going to let me first of all clear everything yeah let me just um do this let me just uh cut and then uh, let me say what perhaps let me create this a uh, class a uh, class you define a class using the class keyword and then uh, it is for student it's for student and then i'm gonna do it let me do it let me um create also the uh let me create also the um the child class which is gonna be uh, actually the main class which is perhaps the uh, person the person and then uh do it let me 
uh, let me do this let me you remember to close with this uh, uh you know these are um, it's called what it's called the the quotation marks i guess uh, actually they will call on the column then and then i guess you will do this are pass probably if uh, we use the pass keyword when you uh, do not want to add any other uh, property or method to the uh, to the class so basically guys uh, uh, in this example now you understand how to do it how to uh, how to do it how to uh, create what to create the uh, the and the charge the class but uh, but then again uh, now the student class has the same property and uh, the method as the person class in this example but then uh, now i want us to do here a practical one uh, you know the one that is you know a bit i uh, you know a good a uh, good example like i'm going to use the student class to create what an object and then execute the print name method so uh perhaps i don't know uh, let me first of all uh, uh clear this one here and then again uh, let me say what uh let me say or uh, rather let me just clear everything so let me just uh, begin and then uh, let me first of all define this class using the class a uh, keyword then i'm gonna i'm going to create what for person for person again and then i close with this up uh, it's called colon here and then i did for defining the uh, you know the the function and then uh, now at uh, the init function and then uh, the self property must be, parameter must be included here and then uh, also let me create the this property the first name for f name f name also um the l name for last name l name you can give it any name actually but then uh, this just my you know preference i like using this one then uh, let me say what self let me now create the uh, create this uh, you know method for it. Uh, let, let me now create this uh, uh, you know uh, properties for it. Now the first name, first name, um, first name. I'm going to assign it to this. Uh, uh, it was uh, f name, f name, uh, f name, first name to f name. Then uh, I'm going to assign as uh, first of all you must include this uh, parameter here. So then uh, the last name. I'm going to assign it to um, L, L name, right? Then uh, let me say what, let me say, uh, let me create now this other, what? let me create this other, you know, uh, let me create this other, you know, uh, method properties here, like, uh, let me create this uh, method here, the print method. So let me say div, and then uh, let me say print, uh, print what? A print a print uh print perhaps let me say print name is it's a, is a name right so let me say print name and then uh, let me do this let me uh perhaps uh what do i do let me say um first of all you must include this uh, self parameter here then you close the column and then uh, now uh, i want us to do it let me create now the print function let me say print uh print what let me say print cell a uh, self dot as of dot what dot um first name i want to print both first name and the the last name so it is uh first first name and then uh, also comma and then also the last name so the last name is self dot uh last l uh, last name yeah let me also say what let me include now let me create this a uh, child class here so let me say first of all let me just remove the indentation here let me just remove the indentation then uh, let me create this uh, the child class here so let me say class uh, class dot actually uh, and then uh, uh this a uh, child class is gonna be a student it's gonna be a student but then it it inherits from uh the this a uh, person person actually the parent class now the person and then uh, i'm gonna do it you close with these uh um these are uh, scored colon then uh, guys i want us to include these a uh, pass a uh, pass statement here so that it may not have issues here there you know at the end because i don't want to add another property there and then now uh, also let me include what let me include these are uh, uh let me assign this variable to uh basically student it is student and then uh the name of this student let me give it uh perhaps nehemiah and uh, nehemiah nehemiah uh nehemiah comma then uh, also wekesa uh, is it yeah wekesa wekesa 
and then I guess uh, what I'm gonna do here is now to do what to uh, create these are uh, also other property here. these are print I might have here so let me say print uh, print what uh, print is it print name yeah print name then I guess uh, this is what I'm gonna do let me just uh, click on the shift plus F10 to run this course in the terminal and then I guess you can see that uh, we still uh, have done what uh, we have uh, printed them uh, the Nehemiah or Kesa there so basically in a nutshell we use the student class to create we have just used the you know student class to create uh, you know an object and then execute the print name uh, method so basically guys i think uh, this is now all about the uh, the child how to create a child a uh, class a uh, child class so guys i want us to uh, you know briefly talk about the the nit function to uh, how to add the the init function so far guys we have just created the the child class you know that inherits from the properties and the method from uh, its parents and then i uh, guess i want us to add the init function to the child class so instead of the pass keyword so instead of, instead of the password we are going to include the init function but then you need to note that uh, the init function is called automatically every time the class is being used to uh, create a new uh, object and uh, basically guys, I, I, uh, you know i told you in the in our previous uh, lecture there uh, <coughs> uh and i guess uh, before we go further let me just tell you that uh, when you add the init function the child uh, the child class will no longer inherit the uh, the parents you know init function but then i guess uh, the child's init function overrides what the inheritance uh you know from the parents I init function so now uh, to if you want to keep the inheritance from the child the init function now uh you must add that you must uh call to the parents init function so uh guys uh, um, i think uh it's now time for me to do it for you practically for you to, for you to uh you know uh, to understand i uh, you know very very uh, better now um do i have to start it again or allah yeah let me just start it afresh and then uh, guys uh, let me say what let me say create this uh, class using the class keyword and then uh, above the parent class let me give it again person and then i'm just repeating myself but uh, for the sake of someone to understand let me just uh, just have the right and then let me say div uh, to define what a function then uh, let me include the init function here and then i'm gonna say what include the these are uh, you know properties here remember that uh, the self parameter must begin uh, but uh, you know you can just use any other name but then uh, it must be at the start and then a uh, f name and also what uh, the l name the l name so uh, and then uh, let me just uh, close now uh guys i'm going to use what i'm going to use what i'm going to create the self uh, self now dot um first first name first name i'm gonna send it to uh f f name right then uh the self uh self dot last last name last name i'm gonna send it to i'm gonna send it to what let me say what uh is it last name yeah l name right l name yeah and then i guess now i want us to create another here uh, the print uh, print name method here so let me uh, say what let me first of all remove the this uh, indentation here so let me say uh div and then uh, let me say print uh, print name method here so print print what print uh, print name print name you can basically give it any name but then uh, you must have this uh, self parameter here and then now uh, let me do what let me say print to execute the code now let me say print uh print what self print self uh, dot uh, it was first name and then also comma and then a self uh, sorry self dot uh, dot uh, last last name right and then uh, let me say what uh, now i want us to create this uh, you know a uh, child class but then uh, let me remove the indentation here so i'm gonna say what let me say sorry uh let me say uh let me say what let me say class basically i'm creating the subclass here the child play the child class here and then uh, let me it inherits from the actual the person so let me say this one to be perhaps i said student last time so let me say student 
and student, student right, student, and then uh, let me say what uh, this student will be. Uh, now it inherits from this uh, person, uh, person class here, which is the parent class here. Then uh, let me say what. Um, hmm. Let me now create this uh, the IN, the INIT function here. Uh, let me say div dot actually base. Uh, uh, then uh, let me say what. Let me say um i n i t function and then i guess you remember that i said that uh, if you include this i n i t function here it will override what the existing or uh, from the parent i know class so you must also include other properties that i'm going to show you in a few so now um here let me say what let me include it uh let me say uh f f name also let me say l name l name and then I uh, do what? Let me. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so now, uh, guys, uh, let me say. Uh, remember to close. So uh, have I closed? Yeah, right. So let me now say. Um, uh, this is a person now, so that it may not have issues. So let me say person. Dot. Uh, now I N I T, so that it may just inherit fully from the parent. What? The parent. Um, uh, the parent class. So let me say self, uh, self, uh, self, comma, then uh, f, f name, comma, also l name, so that it will inherit fully from the the main class. Then now uh, uh, let me now remove the indentation here, and then uh, let me just say what. Let me create this variable here, and then uh, let me assign it to student. Is it? It begins with the caps. So student is right here. Student. Uh, then I uh, the name the student I'm gonna give it uh, perhaps uh, Nehemiah Nehemiah uh, Nehemiah then uh, also let me say what let me say mm, the last name to be uh, Wakesa Wakesa right all right so then uh, let me now uh, have this a uh, method here so let me say x dot uh, print name so that we may to me uh, we may have this a uh, print method here so let me say uh do it let me click on the shift plus shift plus uh is it shift plus 10 right here to run this course in the terminal and then uh, basically guys you can see that we have or perhaps let me use another name so that you might be sure that is a different uh, scenario here so let me say pulse abigail 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 and then about here let me give it something like uh, let me uh, let me say Rambui or whichever name you have. Then uh, let me click on the shift plus 15. And then I uh, basically you, you have seen that uh, you have just done what you have just created this other. Um, you have just uh, created this, we have just added the I, I and T function and uh, basically we have created the uh, the child class. So guys, uh, you have now understood uh, that uh, to keep this uh, inheritance for you know the parent I N T function. Then uh, we add a call to the parents INIT uh, function, and uh, you've just seen how it works. Now uh, we have successfully added the INIT function, and I kept the inheritance from the parent class, and uh, we are ready now to add enough functionality in the INIT function here. So basically, guys, I want us to talk about the uh, how to use the super function to use the. Uh, the super function now uh, the python has uh, you know a super function that uh, will make the child class inherit uh, inherit all the methods and uh, properties from its parents and uh guys uh, perhaps let me um, do this let me uh, clear everything and then uh, perhaps uh, let me just uh, begin afresh so for everybody to be on board so let me say a uh, person a uh, person person basically the parent class then i'm gonna use this uh let me uh, add this also this uh, function here the i i n i t you remember it begins with the underscore but uh, but then uh, this page um, you know has the it has the what it's called the uh, um suggestions like uh, when you just i uh, add the i n t like that then i uh, click on enter just complete for you so basically it has the shortcuts here but then uh uh, you must also in, let me create this uh, f name to us f name for first name so f name uh, f name and then also let me create for 
uh, L name, right? For last name. I'm just repeating myself, but then uh, I want us to talk about this um, super, uh, you know, super functions here. But then now, uh, uh, let me create the self parameters here. So let me self add self dot uh, first name, and then I'm gonna assign it to uh, to the F name first name, and then I also self parameter a uh, dot uh, last last name then i'm gonna send it to a uh, l name l name for last name now uh, i want us to create also the uh, the print name uh, you know method here now so let me say this let me first of all remove the indentation here and then uh, let me say what print uh, let me say uh, before i print let me also create this uh, print name uh, method let me say div uh, div then uh, let me say um print name uh, sorry print name print name and uh, print name what method here and then also uh let me do this let me uh let me say what let me now create these uh the int for these are uh, or uh, basically if you find anything let me say what um <laughs> let me now add this uh, print function here so let me say print and then uh, let me say self self dot uh the dot basically first name and then also comma and then a uh, self parameter dot uh last is it last year last name and then uh let me say what um hmm. let me now create this uh, chart class here uh remember i'm going to use the super uh, function so that it may inherit all the uh, properties from the uh from the parent uh, class of which our parent class is the person here now uh, i want us to do this i want us to create this a uh, uh, class for child class so let me say class uh to be this child class the name of this child class to be perhaps i said student last time so let me say student a uh, student and then uh, let me this student uh, to inherit to at the parent uh, class which is person and then i remember to close i remember to close always with this color otherwise it will have an error then also let me include this this init function so div and then uh, init function and then i do what let me add, uh, add the same properties here so let me say um it was first f name is it f name uh, is it uh, f name right and then a uh, comma oh, sorry before that let me say add uh, also the the L name, L name, L name, and then also uh, now uh, let me now create what let me now create this a uh, super a super super function so that it may inherit fully the uh, the parent uh, class. So basically, use the super super function here, uh, super function, and then uh, remember to close this super function in these are uh, uh, the rounded brackets. And then uh, now dot now to inherit this uh, parent class which is. Uh, the i and i of the apparent uh, class of which it was um f name f name property also l name property so basically i've just created what i've just created this uh, uh super function now i want us to include this uh we must include also this uh, uh variable here so let me say i uh, add this i uh, add these are uh, the value for this uh, student so let me say student not to be what uh, the student name to be uh, sorry you must include first of all these rounded brackets and then uh, let me you add this uh, quotation because it's a string and then uh, let me say what let me say this name to be perhaps let me use another name like a uh, john uh, john smith basically uh, let me say smith john smith john smith or whichever name you have just perfect in fact yours is very very perfect than mine than mine so let me say dot uh dot print name method here so let me say print name then i do what let me click on the shift plus uh, f10 then now uh, you can see now the magic here so basically guys uh, the, uh the 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 these um super function basically it inherits uh all the uh it, it inherits uh, you know all the methods in the property from the uh, from its parent of which it was uh, it was student right it was uh, a person it was personal yeah 
So now guys you understand now that uh, by using the super function you uh, you do not have to use the the name you know of the parent elements because uh, it will automatically inherit all the methods and the properties from uh, its uh, parent. Now guys uh, let's talk about how to add the properties. Now how do I have to repeat myself? Or, uh, let me just do it for uh, for everybody to familiarize with the codes um, so let me press say class uh, let me say class and then uh, again it is toss person right uh, person person and then uh, you close and then uh, also let me create this a uh, uh, function here yeah, the INIT IN, INIT function and then I do all this. Let me create uh, first of all this first parameter must begin. Then uh, uh, f name for first name. Uh, also l name for last name. And then I'm gonna say what. Let me say self. Uh, self dot uh, first name. And then I'm gonna send it to uh, f f name. Also for last name I'm gonna say what. So let me say self dot last name then i'm gonna send it to uh, uh l name and then uh, uh let me create now this uh, method here let me create this uh print method so let me say div uh, basically it must have the indentation here so let me say div uh to define then a uh, uh, print what print print what print name i can say print a uh, print name or a uh, print or whichever name you have guys uh, this is just my preference then you close with this uh, uh you must include this uh, self property here inside it and then i do what let me say a uh, print print dot print down um, self a uh, self dot um, dot first first name comma then i uh, also self dot is it sorry self so self dot dot what uh, that uh, last l name last name yeah and then now guys i want us to do it now, now let's create this uh, uh you know charts a uh, charts class then so let me say what first of all remove the indentation and then uh, let me say class class it was student right remember i'm just repeating uh, this stuff for you to understand so the class it was student student um student and then um it inherits from the the parent class which is person right then uh, you close with what you close with the this colon i guess uh if that's not the spell the pronunciation of or uh, this that's not the name for this tab two dots let me know in the comment section i don't understand this up very very well but then uh, let me say what let me say uh let me get also this uh the ina the init function so let me say this and then uh let me say what init function and then uh this init function to uh have these properties like uh the one for the parent which was uh f name uh, it was f, f name also l name l uh l name i guess and then uh guys uh i said that i want us to make it inherit all the methods and the properties from the parent class so i'm, go I'm gonna use uh, the super function so let me say super and then you include this rounded brackets and then um say dot init so that it may inherit the init function for from uh the the main uh the parent what the, from the parent um parent class here parent class uh, so let me just f name comma also uh, l name now guys i see that i want us to add more properties on, on it like um let me say this let me say uh, something like um let me say self i guess i say that i want to add more properties on so itself say self uh, self uh, self dot um self dot uh, self dot uh, dot perhaps let me say but but here uh, let me say but here uh, to be um 2000 2000 right or uh, yeah just any any value you have and then uh, now um let me now use have this uh, uh x um variable here so let me 
must have the indentation there so let me say x and then um student uh, student so it's a cut so student uh, student and then uh, a student and then uh, the name now the name of the student let me say again Nehemiah. Nehemiah. I don't want to use uh, someone's names again someone name again and then uh, let me say uh, say also Wekesa Wekesa uh, Wekesa and then uh, also let me have what let me have the print function so that we may execute this code in the terminal and then uh, let me say now basically I said that I want us to add what I want us to add the these are the property which is the but here and then uh, let me say x uh, x dot um, this but here right and then uh, now uh, what I do let me click on the shift plus uh, shift plus 15 and then I guess you can see that uh, the birth year is uh, 2000 uh, so guys uh, basically these are how to add the properties but then uh, you can also try to have also another uh, trial like uh, the you can also have the year like uh, it was 2000 uh, which 2000 should be available and then I pass it to into the path the student class when creating the student object and then I guess remember to do so you uh, to do so you add the uh, the another parameter the int function now like you can add the year parameter and pass the uh, correct year when creating the uh, the object but then I don't want to go into that then I want us to uh, talk about the Python methods first of all define this uh, class using the class keyword so let me say class first of all and then uh, let me give it the class and to be again person person then I remember to do a to close with this uh to close with the uh, the colon and then now uh, define this uh function using the div keyword and then uh, let me say i n i t and it function then uh, you must have this first parameter the self parameter or whichever other name you have and then uh, let me say f name also uh, l name and then I uh, also do it sorry and then uh, let me say what uh, let me create now the self parameter self dot uh, pass first name and then uh, send it to uh, f name also for last name let me give the self parameter dot dot uh, last name and then uh, assign it to uh, l name l name and then uh, let me create also the uh, basically the uh, the you know another method here the print method here so print and a method so let me say print name it doesn't have to be print name but then uh, another name uh, you can just create another name but then you must include the this uh, parameter here the self a uh, parameter here also let me say what let me now say print sorry so let me say print uh, print what let me say print um self first of all self dot uh first of all first of all first name a uh, first name a uh, comma also self dot uh last name uh, last name yeah then uh, I'm, I'm gonna say what let me create the print uh uh not really the print now i want us to create the uh the class now uh the other class so let me say for actually the chart class so let me say class um, class then uh, let me say uh student student a uh, student then uh, the student to inherit the person method you know and their properties so you must include also these are main class actually the parent class then uh, let me define these other uh, i ninety function so let me define it and then uh, i'm gonna say what inside it then uh, let me include the uh, f name f name comma uh, l name l name and then uh, let me say what let me say what let me say this let me say um include now the super function so that it will inherit everything so let me say super function sorry um <laughs> let me say super function then i include these uh, uh rounded brackets dot now uh i n i t function and this i n i n i t function i'm gonna include that the sorry uh, f is this f name also l name so that it may just inherit fully the 
uh, the painters and the property so and then also let me do this let me include there uh, about the year the body a lot so, so let me say uh, perhaps should I include let me just include because I introduced you know uh, in the previous class so let me say self uh, self dot uh, bar, bar the year but yeah again uh, but then i don't have to do that like but uh, let me just repeat then uh, let me say here sorry here your bad then i do this um <laughs> uh, do i have to include it here but uh, let me just say um all right yeah then uh, let me say create another sorry so uh, let me just say repeat it again so let me say that here let me give it to this uh, variable let me say here yeah right and then i also ah uh, so let me just say uh but uh let me just say here yeah. let me just say what here yeah. and uh, let me just say here yeah. and then i do this let me say create also another another what let me create another method here so the i'm going to create a welcome method here so welcome a uh, welcome Sorry, welcome. I uh, welcome. I um, <laughs> uh, welcome, and then you close with this. Uh, uh, this are uh, closing what parameter? Here. This is uh, a parameter, and then I also include what include the I uh, include the uh, the the colon here. So close with the colon. And then uh, guys, I want us to do what. Let me create the print function here. So let me say print. Uh, let me say print what. Let me say print um welcome uh, welcome now uh, welcome and then uh, uh comma then i uh, include uh let me include the first name uh, let me say nehemiah it was nehemiah right uh let me just say nehemiah actually not nehemiah yeah. basically i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh let me say self uh self uh self uh, dot um perhaps first name uh, uh, let me just include the beginning the first name or um let me just say a uh, last name and then a comma then a self self dot um first first name first name and then i'm gonna say what uh let me say let me now add the string here and then uh, add, uh let me say um let me create this uh, uh you know this a uh, string here then uh, let me say to to the uh to the uh, to basically to uh um or uh, let me just say welcome to the welcome i guess i am to you are <laughs> let me say to to you are uh let me say to <laughs> to the uh let me say to the year to the year of uh, basically to the year of and then i uh, include the intention there or uh, and then uh, let me just say um of uh to the year maybe of and then uh, let me include the parameter here so let me say self dot um year right so let me say um is it here so uh, let me just say year is it uh let me say but here all right yeah let me it was but here right yeah let me just say but here but then uh, there's something there's an error here don't know what the problem here but then uh, let me just see why it is being underlined here so let me just uh, go through it let me include what let me include the the year so that it may not it may not have what issues you know yeah so that it, it may not have issues here and then uh, now uh, to do what to let me now go to another uh, line here of code here and then uh, let me perhaps say what let me say uh, before anything remove the indentation and then uh, let me say x then assign it to uh, perhaps it was student basically student then uh, perhaps let me say what let me uh, give this name this student a name and then uh, let me say uh, Nehemiah or uh, the, yeah Nehemiah the first name Nehemiah 
Nehemiah, and then uh, the last name was Bob's uh, Wekesa, Wekesa, yeah, Wekesa, and then um, also the year of birth is Bob's uh, 2019, 20, uh, 2000, 2000. Or uh, what I do, let me say the graduation year, right? Let me just change and uh, give it Bob so that it may be not a bit, uh, you know, or something. Let me say uh, graduation. Graduation, a uh, graduation year, a uh, graduation year. Then uh, here I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to. Uh, here let me change, change it to. Um, let me say gra, graduation year, right? And then uh, where else do I have to change? Uh, nowhere. And then uh, perhaps here uh, let it be. Um, let me say twenty. Let me say past 2020. Any uh, value is uh, this is not accurate, but then uh, let me just give it 2020, and then uh, also let me have this method here. So let me say welcome, uh, welcome, and then I uh, guess uh, let me do this. Let me click on the shift plus uh, shift plus 15, and then uh, you can see the you know a uh, message here. Welcome, my case and my to the year of uh, 2020. Uh, 20. So basically, guys, uh, this is how you can do it. This is how you can add the uh, the methods. And uh, now you add a method in the chant class with the uh, the same name. You remember the same name as the function in the parent class. And the, and then uh, the the inheritance of the parent class will be, you know, uh, overridden. So basically, this is what I wanted to show you in this video. And uh, guys, uh, please see if you find that uh, the video has been of help. Then uh, please take a second, subscribe like and share it to your friends and uh, let's meet in the next video goodbye